it's such a great sighting i think what we're looking at now might win the cutest sighting for the day and it is a well our third group of warthogs for the afternoon and i was saying how i'd love to see some wallowing around in the mud well wallowing is not what's happening right now i think that that sow is just taking a little break and enjoying the cool water having an afternoon swim and those little ones are very sweet too they they're very nervous though around the water well they were nervous a, a little Natal Spurfowl came darting out of the long grass and they got such a fright and they ran away but not hanging around for too long that one sow says no nah, I'm not staying here and she and this lady is just like oh come on guys I just just got in five more minutes don't go stay there we'll watch you we'll keep your back I'll shout leopard if I see one now there could be one around here too because this is the area that Hongile was seen there's also look at that one going up to the blacksmith lapwing look at the blacksmith lapwing see how it's got it it's got its wings open but it obviously wasn't very happy with it the birds often do that to try and make themselves look bigger perhaps there must be a nest nearby around there and that's why it was being so defensive against the pigs that was really cool it'd be nice if one of those little ones go back so just as we see young elephants being quite curious around birds and other animals you know often going up to investigate so will warthogs apparently now, this blacksmith lapwing may have not have been happy with the warthogs, but the starling is definitely trying to keep up with that group. It's nice. I think that's the first time I've seen warthogs actually drinking water since I've been at Wild Earth, which was quite nice. It's actually not a very common sight to see. I, I will probably count on my hands how many times I've had sightings of warthogs drinking, wallowing, seeing them wallow quite a few more times. But that was 